Mankind has harnessed the power of machinery to fulfill the many needs of our society. Today, we're taking a look at the top 15 most massive machines mankind has ever created. Number 15, Belaz 75710. If you're running a construction project or planning on moving large quantities of material from one place to another, then you're going to need a hauling truck. But if you have substantial loads that need to be transported, then you might just require the use of the largest one ever designed, the Belaz 75710. Created by the Belarusian company Belaz, it's the highest payload capacity haul truck available. The vehicle itself weighs 500 tons and can carry a further 500 tons of material. It's more than 67 feet long, 32 feet wide, and 27 feet high, and its wheelbase alone is just over 26 feet across. To power this gigantic vehicle, it uses a Siemens MMT500 drive system, which is powered by two MTU 16-cylinder four-stroke diesel engines, which each produce 2,300 horsepower. This gives the 75710 an impressive top speed of 40 miles per hour, and even when loaded on an incline of 10%, it can maintain a speed of up to 25 miles per hour. Number 14, the 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope. The 500 meter aperture spherical radio telescope, or FAST for short, is the largest radio telescope in the world that's made up of a fully filled in structure. Located in Pengtang County in Southwest China, it was installed in an ideally sized natural depression within the landscape. At 1,600 feet in diameter, its surface is covered with adjustable metal panels that are controlled by computer and the feed antenna, which is suspended above the dish by cables. It can also be adjusted depending on what's being observed. FAST took five years to build, and after opening for testing in 2016, it took a further four years to reach full operational capacity. It's able to observe wavelengths between 4 inches and 14 feet, and since entering service has now detected 44 new pulsars that were previously unknown. Not only has FAST dramatically increased researchers' ability to observe the distant reaches of the universe, but it also has become a visitor attraction in its own right. Ten million tourists were thought to have traveled to the remote region in 2017 to get a glimpse of the enormous dish for themselves. And this has meant that those in charge of running it have had to strike a fine balance between accommodating the needs of the visitors to ensure the wider community is engaged with their aims, while also making sure they're carrying out enough studies to make the $180 million cost of the project worthwhile. Number 13. Prelude FLNG Oceanic oil fields around the world are covered with large drilling platforms designed to extract as much of the valuable resource as possible. But in 2013, Shell launched the largest offshore facility to have ever been built, known as the Prelude FLNG. At over 1,600 feet long, 243 feet wide, and containing more than 260,000 tons of steel, it has five times the water displacement of a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. At an estimated cost of $13 billion, Prelude has a full-time crew of 240, and was specifically designed to work on the Prelude and Concerto gas fields, which lie around 120 miles off the coast of Australia. It's secured in place by 16 seabed-driven steel piles that are each 213 feet long, and this means it's able to withstand the worst weather that can be thrown at it, including a Category 5 typhoon. After initially being installed in place in 2017, Prelude began full operation in 2018 and is able to extract 110,000 barrels per day a mixture of liquefied natural gas, condensate, and liquefied petroleum gas. The sheer scale of this platform is almost unimaginable, but with a projected lifespan of 25 years, it'll secure production from the valuable fields for many years to come. Number 12, La Princesse. In 2008, celebrations in Liverpool, England, were chosen for the unveiling of one of the largest mechanized vehicles ever made, La Princesse. It was designed by a French performance art company called La Machine, who wanted to build a giant robot spider that could walk through the streets. Constructed from steel, wood, and complex hydraulics, it took more than a year to complete, but the result was incredible. Weighing in at 37 tons, it had 50 different axes of movement, and with the aid of 16 cranes, 6 forklift trucks, 8 cherry pickers, and a crew of more than 250 people, it was able to climb up and around buildings and crawl through the city at a speed of up to 2 miles per hour. As a part of the performance, it was also followed by a live band and was fitted with numerous special effects so that it was able to emit smoke, fire, rain, wind, snow, light, and sound. It's undoubtedly one of the most elaborate entertainment machines to ever be built, and one that would take incredible passion and commitment to ever aim to beat. Number 11. Tradino the Robot Dragon 
the German town of Firthenwald in Bavaria is also known as the Dragon City, and they take this association very seriously. Every year, a play called Drachenstadt is performed through the streets based on a tradition that began as far back as the 16th century and tells the story of St. George slaying a dragon. As you'd expect, the central spectacle of the play is the dragon itself, and in 2001, Organize decided that their prop was getting too old and worn, and plans were drawn up for a giant dragon robot, which would become the largest independently walking robot in the world. It took nine years to be designed and built, and took center stage during the play's performance in 2010, known as Tradino. The dragon weighs 11 tons and is powered by a two-liter turbo diesel engine. It has a 40-foot wingspan, a huge tail, and to move by remote control, it contains more than 1,000 feet of hydraulic lines and 4,000 feet of electrical wires. For added effect, it can also carry 17 and a half gallons of fake blood and two and a half gallons of liquid gas, which allows the monstrous beast to bleed and breathe fire up to five feet from its mouth. Number 10, Antonov AN-225 Mira. Whenever you've traveled through an international airport, you'll quite often see aircraft that are much larger than you'd expect, from the Airbus A380 to large cargo transports. It almost seems impossible that they'd ever be able to lift up into the air. But even they can't stand up to the heaviest plane ever built, the Antonov AN-225 Mira. Only one was built in 1985, and it was the result of the Soviet need to transport the Buran space plane, which was their equivalent of the space shuttle. To carry the spacecraft to the launch center, the Mira needed some serious stability and power. So the 276-foot-long and 60-foot-tall aircraft with a 290-foot wingspan was fitted with six Progress D-18T turbofans, which could each generate 229.5 kilonewtons of thrust. This means that it can take off with a maximum weight of almost 1.5 million pounds and attain a cruising speed of up to 500 miles per hour. Following the end of the Soviet shuttle program, the Mira was mothballed for eight years, but new uses soon emerged for the mega jet. It's still regularly used to this day for projects ranging from delivering supplies to relief organizations around the world and to carry the largest pieces of air cargo, such as wind turbine blades and the heaviest light generators for power plants. Number 9. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 the Lusatian coal fields in Germany are a series of mines on the country's border with Poland that produce some of the largest quantities of coal in the world. Having been in operation for more than a half a century, the operators needed some heavy-duty machinery to keep running at full capacity, which led to the development of the Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60. Five of these monster machines were built, and they're responsible for removing and transporting the overburden, which lies over the coal seam out of the way. They're fitted with excavators on each side, which can remove almost 30,000 tons of material every hour and have nine conveyor belts to load onto their trucks for disposal. Each one has a cutting height of 200 feet, and the vehicles themselves are 260 feet long, 790 feet wide, and 1,647 feet long, making them by far the longest and largest vehicles ever constructed, as well as one of the heaviest with an operating weight of 13,600 tons. To put this into perspective, an F-60 is longer than the Empire State Building is tall, which represents a phenomenal feat of engineering. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Seawise Giant the Seawise Giant first set sail in 1979 and to this day remains the largest ship to have ever been built. It was designed for use as a super tanker, and at 1,504 feet long was so big that it was unable to traverse the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal. When fully loaded, the displacement was more than 650,000 tons, and the bottom of the hull would submerge up to 81 feet beneath the water's surface. Building such a large vessel didn't come without its problems, though, and initially the Seawise Giant suffered from vibrations that were such a concern that the company that had commissioned it refused delivery. Following a refit, it performed closer to how it was meant to and had 46 tanks for crude oil and an enormous 230-ton rudder and a 50-ton propeller. This allowed it to reach a top speed of 16 and a half knots, which is the equivalent to 19 miles per hour, but had a turning circle of two miles and needed five and a half miles to come to a full stop from that speed. Throughout its operational life, the ship changed hands a number of times and was even sunk during the Iran-Iraq War in 1988. After being salvaged and fixed, it continued in service and was finally scrapped in 2010, when smaller but faster vessels proved to be far more economical. 
Number 7. Tysoon Crane Ports around the world are dealing with bigger ships and larger loads, so have to keep up with technology to be able to service them. At the Yantai Raffle Shipyard in Yantai, China, the largest crane in the world was built to not only handle cargo, but to assist with the construction of the super cruisers of the future. Known as the Taishun Crane, it's rated to handle loads of up to 20,000 tons and holds the record for the three heaviest lifts by a crane of all time. It was originally designed to install modules on top of ship hulls that had been built elsewhere and soon became the go-to place for anyone wanting to build a giant tanker. At 393 feet wide and 436 feet tall, it's able to service even the most complicated of needs with a 262-foot lift height. Number 6. Schwer Gustav the Schwerer Gustav was possibly the most frightening weapon ever developed, and holds the record for being the largest caliber rifled weapon ever deployed in combat, and the heaviest mobile artillery machine ever constructed. It was to be the Nazis' war-turning weapon, and it was just a turn of fortune that meant it wasn't possible for them to use as often as they would have hoped. Weighing 1,490 tons, it was transported on the back of a train car, and it was able to fire 7.7-ton shells to a distance of up to 29 miles. It was 155 feet long, with a barrel length of 106 feet, and took a crew of 250 people three days to set up once it was in position. 14 31-inch rounds could be fired per day with a muzzle velocity of up to 2,700 feet per second, and anything that stood in its way was obliterated. The only time it was used effectively, however, was during the Battle of Sevastopol against the Soviet Union. And during this mission, the Gustav successfully destroyed a munitions depot that was hidden 98 feet beneath ground level. The weapon was eventually destroyed by German troops before the end of the Second World War to prevent it from falling into Russian hands. But luckily, no one has ever felt the need to recreate such a weapon since. Number 5. Komatsu D-575A Super Dozer the Komatsu D-575A is the largest bulldozer in production, and it's so powerful that it's the preferred piece of machinery at surface mines across the US, Canada, and Australia. At 38 feet and 5 inches long and 16 feet tall, it's able to move as much as 125 cubic yards of material on each pass and can dig to a depth of up to 7 feet. To do this, the 168-ton vehicle is powered by a 12-cylinder four-stroke diesel engine that can produce 1,150 horsepower. And it's so big that it can't simply drive itself to a new work site. It has to be dismantled and transported on up to eight trucks before being reassembled at the other end. Number 4. The Panzer 8 Maus The German military devoted huge resources towards developing powerful weapons and had a particular interest in creating the biggest war machines ever invented. This led to the creation of the Panzer 8 Maus, which remains the largest fully enclosed armored fighting vehicle ever conceived. Only one full mouse was ever completed, and it never entered service because it was captured by the Soviets before it was operational. But had they ever made it to the battlefields, they would have been almost unstoppable. At 33 feet and 6 inches long, 12 feet and 2 inches wide, and just under 12 feet tall, the 207-ton vehicle required a six-man crew to operate, which included a commander, a gunner, two loaders, a driver, and a radio operator. It could reach a top speed of 14 miles per hour over virtually any terrain but because it was so heavy, it wasn't able to use bridges and instead had to cross rivers and was equipped with a snorkel so it could submerge to depths of up to 26 feet. The mouse was intended as a breakthrough tank, which could have punched holes in enemy defenses without taking much damage itself and almost certainly would have changed the face of the war if it had ever properly entered service. Number 3. The Large Hadron Collider to understand and unlock the strangest mysteries of the universe requires not only a deep knowledge of physics, but also the equipment that enables the necessary experiments to take place. That was the reason behind the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, which enabled scientists to confirm the existence of an elusive particle called the Higgs boson. Simply put, the LHC is a particle collider that is used to accelerate particles to astonishing speeds and at its maximum output can shoot protons around its 17-mile tunnel at just 6.8 miles per hour slower than the speed of light. The tunnel is lined with electromagnets to control this process, which make it by far the largest machine ever built and one of the most productive. Since opening in 2010, the seven detectors have achieved all they've set out to do and more, and now plans are in motion to replace it with an even bigger collider that can further the answers of the questions that have been raised as a result of what the LHC has found. Number 2. Bertha Tunnel Borer 
The Alaskan Way Viaduct is a crucial transport artery through Seattle, but following the 2001 Nisqually earthquake, it became clear that the double-decker freeway posed a safety hazard. Plans were put in place to build a replacement, but rather than constructing a new road above ground, the decision was made to carve a huge tunnel under downtown Seattle to connect the southern part of the city to the north. This result was the State Route 99 tunnel, which is two miles long and is double-decked, and is capable of accommodating the 110,000 vehicles that use the original viaduct each day and more. The problem that the designers had to overcome with the construction of the tunnel, however, was that there wasn't a machine on Earth big enough to do what they needed. Part of the project, therefore, involved designing a new tunnel borer, which became known as Bertha, and was the most massive one ever built. The 6,700-ton machine had a cutter head diameter of 57 and a half feet, and was 326 feet long. At a cost of $80 million, it had to be built at specialist factories in Japan, before being shipped to Seattle in 41 parts and constructed at the entrance to the planned tunnel. It began work in July of 2013, and despite encountering several delays, it completed its job by April of 2017. As there was no further use for Bertha, however, the machine was dismantled at the end of the route, and only a few of the parts are still in existence, and are now at display at a local transportation museum as a record of the huge effort it took to create the tunnel that millions of people rely upon each year. Number 1. The International Space Station First launched in 1998, the International Space Station isn't the largest machine or vehicle ever built, but it's definitely one of the most impressive things ever designed by humankind, and has set plenty of records of its own. It's actually the ninth of the 11 space stations that have entered Earth's orbit, but is by far the biggest of them all. With a modular design, extra pieces have regularly been sent up to attach to it, and currently it's 239.4 feet long and 357.5 feet wide. It was built and is run as an international collaboration between most of the nations on Earth that are involved in space exploration, and is an important tool for scientific research for both studies of the effects of microgravity and of understanding the wider universe. Due to its position in orbit, the most impressive record that the ISS holds is that it's the fastest moving vehicle that any human has set foot inside. It circles the Earth once every 92.68 minutes which means it's traveling at an astonishing 17,100 miles per hour. Even if it was possible to reach this speed at ground level, you'd be able to travel from New York to Sydney, Australia in just 35 minutes. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.